Hey, what's up Spark Mech Live and welcome to the top 5 collections. Quick disclaimer, there's probably some insane collections that you guys have seen or heard of that simply weren't sent in. Regardless, I think what we did have to work with will make a very interesting episode for all of you viewers. There's some bonus clips we'll be featuring before actually rolling the top 5 placements in this episode, starting with Irva. 500,000 watermelon. Irva is also rank 3 in farming, locked in, maxed out at 200 mil. Now while this isn't exactly a massive amount of gems, it was an interesting submission nevertheless. Corndogs met up with Collect Gems, who as you guessed it, collects gems. There's a grand total of over 100 mil here, which to the average player is quite a bit considering this gathering appears to not be crafted into anything anytime soon. Logging is up next with this crazy amount of L's. You'll notice the main stack of 826k Slayer's Respite. I was curious as to why the Slayer's Respite was chosen as his main collection, so I dove deeper into what exactly it did. It boosts your Slayer level by 1 to 2 according to my sources, and actually held a decent value in the early days of old school RuneScape. They're currently 50 GP, and was once at an 8000 GP peak. Hey Spark Mike Live, I was just going to submit my collection. I wasn't planning on it because I felt there's people in the game with superior collections, but this is taking quite the time. The GE limit is 40. Yes, I have 204k bronze pickaxes and they continue to buy in the GE every day. So I've been collecting these dies uh, for about a year or so. Uh, they're kind of hard to get because no one's ever really selling them. And uh, yeah, got my tenders, got my sand. I got all them pets, boy. I Buy Shrimp is meeting us at the water drop with his 10 mil stack of cooked shrimp. There's a backstory behind this, which I'll read on Shrimp's behalf. I love the name, by the way. This is my cooked shrimp collection. I've been hoarding these bad boys for over two years now as something to occupy my wealth and time while I play my Iron Man as my main account. There is a lot of raw shrimps in game, but cooked are much more scarce. People cook 50 of them until they move on to trout, etc. So it's hard to get these in bulk. Only ways to get off of GE and limits are very low. I've had other collectors tell me I might actually hold a hefty chunk of the entire cooked shrimp monopoly. Guesses are between 25 to 60 percent. However, these are only estimates from respected players. Hi, Spark Mac. Today I'm going to be showing off my collection of 620k cabbage seeds, 500k tomato seeds, 129k Dorgan Shem light bulbs, 51k barley seeds, and I had actually had 280k before, but I sold them at a 10,000 percent markup. It's Ash has an interesting collection: 23 million vials. Alongside a bunch of burnt stuff. You guys are hoarders. Hey Spark Mac, I wanted to go ahead and show off my collection. I've been collecting for about 13 years. It's been a while since I logged onto RuneScape, but I wanted to show this one off. It's been about 13 years, and uh, if I scroll down here, you'll see I've been collecting depression. I've been collecting depression for the past 13 years, Spark Mac. And uh, boy. Boy, do I got a lot of it. That's all. I just wanted to show off this <laughs> sick collection. Hey, dude. Uh, it's me, Bird. Uh, I, this, is my, this is my only collection. It's just, it's, just, it's just a load of bananas. It's just a shit ton of bananas. Up next, we have Black Mace. With over 73,000 black maces and 1 million tomato seeds. The star of the show here is obviously the maces in my opinion, as the limit to these are 125 per 4 hours. These cannot be smith, they can only be acquired by two NPCs known as Dark Warriors and Cyclopses. You can also get your hands on them from looting bronze chests in the Shade Catacombs. If we assume these were bought from the Grand Exchange, it would take roughly 100 days to buy 
if he had a consistent offer in. Now for the top 5 countdown, what you've all been waiting for. Coming in at number 5 is I am an NPC with over 1.8 million snowballs. I collected these myself with the following clip to give you guys an idea of how long this might have taken. And let me say NPC, I don't know how you did it brother. FYI, these snowballs are untradeable so this is the only way to produce them either with the reindeer hat or a snow globe, released as holiday items. And just like that, the snow pile has melted. Did another test run and got 15 the next load before it disappeared. Number 4. Dead Scare has 84 million shafts alongside 37 million javelin shafts. Dead says this took over 4 years to amass, with the buy limit being 7k per 4 hours. Taking the number 3 slot is Potup Sun with 1 million Rotten Tomatoes, which is a non-GE item. They were also collected before the GE was released, he says. These specimens were acquired through the Duel Arena shop, although you can also get them from various crates throughout RuneScape. Number 2 COTW with the only collection that actually has quite the use and could be sold relatively easy. 461,000 4-dose prey potions are a little over 10,000 each with the current prices, so that's 4.6 billion. Limit on the potions are 2,000 per 4 hours, so those definitely took a while to collect. It's also the most expensive collection by far that was sent in. There's roughly 1 bill in Ranars, 650 mil in Snapegrass, and 800 million in unfinished Ranar potions. All this stuff is worth a grand total of over 7 billion. This better not be edited, brother, because there was no price check attached to this clip. Taking the number one spot in this countdown is Kai, and unfortunately this recording isn't the easiest to see because of the full screen aspect ratio but we'll try our best to show it. Not only does he have a full inventory of countless items, being 10 mil plus stacks, but if we look further into the bank, the collection continues on and on and on and on and on and on. This man is crazy. I've never seen someone hoard more items. Which is why he is deserving of our number one spot. The Strangest Collections is what I think we're going to title this one. Congrats goes out to Kai. Taking the Bond Care Package. Add me in game and we'll meet up at some point. I want to thank everyone that was a part of this because without you it wouldn't have been possible to create. I'd like to say too that it was very hard placing you guys and hope I did you viewers justice by doing these in the right order. It was a challenge considering how broad of a topic this top 5 was, and this leads to our next top 5, which is going to be top 5 highest boss kill counts. If you have a clip to send in showcasing it, feel free to add in a cool drop or multiple drops alongside your milestone. As always, thanks to you viewers for tuning into this one. Be sure to leave a like to fuel the next episode because I genuinely enjoyed creating this. Big shout out to my boy Volkaban as well for animating the countdown for this and future releases. That's all I got for you guys. Till the next one, get your submissions in for the regular episodes and the top 5 coming up next.